Monster Crew, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you guys a whole month's worth of groceries for my family of five. Filming it a little bit different this month. Just gonna pop it in and show you guys what I got. I'm showing you guys all in one video, my Walmart haul, my Aldi haul, and a mid-month haul. So you guys can see kind of collectively all at once what a full month of food and household products really looks like coming into my house. So let's start with my Aldi haul. This is my bag of potatoes, 10 pounds. This should last a month. I've been having issues with my potatoes going bad, but it's also been really, really hot here, so I'm hoping as the weather cools down, they'll hold better, but 10 pounds of potatoes, all for dinners, mostly crock pot meals that are coming up and mashed potatoes. We're gonna head down the table this way today, but I got a very large cabbage. I didn't intend to get this big of a cabbage. However, this is kind of what they had. All their cabbages were really big, so. I just got a cabbage that looked good, and then I can always uh, make this into some sauerkraut or something, stick it in a crock and let it ferment or do something like that. So, big old head of cabbage. I needed that for a couple meals this month in like soups and stuff. I got two things of chicken tenderloins. I wanted chicken breasts, but they didn't have any pretty much since 2020. Chicken breasts at my Aldi have been hit or miss. They're either there and they have a ton or there's none. So. Two things of chicken tenders. This will get me through what I needed this month meal-wise. Four bags of apples. This is what I need to get through a month, which averages about a bag of, of apples a week. Um, so I got three things of Honeycrisp and one thing of Granny Smith. I might use this bag of Granny Smith to make a pie. Depends on how great these apples are. The apples I got from Aldi last month were terrible. I ended up making them into applesauce and loading them full of cinnamon and stuff. And uh, it was good applesauce, but the apples themselves weren't good. So hopefully these apples are really good. We're only a couple weeks away from getting like really great farm fresh quality local apples. I love Jonathan's. I love Cortland's. We love Macintosh. They're so good. They make the best pies, best ham pies. I'm going to be putting in a huge order. I'm going to be ordering, I think, like 70 pounds. And we're going to be canning some apples. So lots of apples going to be happening soon. But until then, that's what we got. Same thing with lunch meat. Since 2020, it's like my Aldi either has it or it doesn't. Today they had it. So we got two things of turkey breast, two things of chicken, two things of ham. And this was great timing, especially with school starting back up. Needed those. I got one thing of mini bagels. My kids actually don't like to eat bagels like out of the toaster for breakfast. We pretty much only make mini pizzas out of these mini bagels. That's about the only way they eat them, but one bag for the month is pretty much all we need. Two kielbasas, I'm making a sausage and cabbage soup, mm -hmm. and that's what these kielbasas are for. Two things of hamburger buns, just in case we decide to do burgers this month or we want to grill or something. I have burger patties, I've just throw these in the freezer. For 88 cents, it's worth buying a package or two and just keeping them in the freezer, so got some of those. Specifically, my daughters have been so upset that we haven't had the mixed berries. These are their favorite kind of berries. So I haven't been buying them because the, the price on these went so high. They were like eight or nine dollars a bag. This time they were six dollars a bag. I bought four of them. That's an average one bag a week. Same thing with the apples. My kids eat these for snacks. We do them for smoothies. We throw them in oatmeal. We throw them in pancakes. My kids love these things. So four bags of their preferred mixed berry blends. This is going to be dinner tonight. I'm actually going to spend, it's 1.30 now, I'm spending the rest of the afternoon canning spaghetti sauce. Bushels and bushels of tomatoes I'm currently working through. And tonight I'm doing pizza sauce and I might also be doing some hot sauce. I got some things later. I might be doing that tonight. I'm not really sure yet. But this is dinner for tonight so I don't have to cook. I got a thing of cheese sticks. We don't always get these but I figured why not. And then I also got a thing of, what is this? Mega meat pizza. This one, my husband likes anything with sausage on it, so I just got a mega meat one this time and everyone will be happy with that. Heading into some snackies. My husband's night school classes started back up, so he'll go to work during the day and then right after work, he goes to night school for his apprenticeship. And then he also has one day a week where he spends all day in class and I just wanted to have easy things for him to grab and keep in his lunchbox or like to keep in his car or something for those days. And I remembered he liked these way back in the day, uh, like a year ago when his schedule was like this. So I got him these sweet and salty cashews and then I also got him the sweet and salty peanut. 
I could not for the life of me remember which one that he preferred in the store and I forgot to ask him before I went grocery shopping so I just got him a box of each and he'll let me know. I am babysitting some of my nieces and nephews this weekend so we picked out some fun treats. This was one of them. There's only 10 pouches in here so it's really not going to last any longer than after it's open but just something fun for the cousins while we're while they're here. We're also canning up a ton of salsa right now. My kids love to eat it fresh, like before I even get it in the canner, which is great. I love that for them. So I bought a big bag of Tostito chips or like tortilla chips for everybody to enjoy salsa as we're, as it's being made. I am so sorry if I'm out of breath. The getting further into the pregnancy, third trimester pretty much. So I'm just out of breath. It's just part of, it's just going to be part of the territory for right now, <laughs> but I picked up these apple cider donuts or donut cream cookies. Haven't opened these yet. I'm so excited to give these a try. I'm, I'm waiting until my girls get off the bus and we can all eat them together, give them a try together. So this was a fall fun thing that I bought. I got four things of mac and cheese because just like my husband went back to school, my kids went back to school, at least two of them. <laughs> but I am their Girl Scout troop leader. So on my meeting days, I try to either put a crock pot meal in, we have leftovers, or mac and cheese up on the shelf for dad to <laughs> make dinner for himself and uh, the child that is left at home with him during Girl Scout meetings. So these are just an emergency, like maybe I didn't put something in the crock pot or the instant pot, or I was just like, you know what dad, you can do it tonight. So that's what the mac and cheese is for. I got two cans of tomato basil soup. This stuff is so good, you guys. I can't... I can't tell you how great this this soup is specifically. I love it. So two cans of that. My kids are loving these more and more. We're also doing um, a dinner this month just to keep it easy of hot sandwiches and soup. So we're going to do like grilled cheese sandwiches, tomato soups, and then my husband doesn't really like tomato soup. He does like this though, but in small quantities, but I'm getting him bean and bacon from Walmart for that night. Just the typical fruit snacks. These are Colt's favorite. I can't never get those. I need a couple stuff for my pantry. Breadcrumbs, I use these when I make meatballs. We're just about at the end of our coconut oil, so I got another one of those. Needed some more seasoned salt. I just about ran out of this yesterday, and I'm using this a lot in canning. Like right now, I'm making all my spaghetti sauce. I did a batch yesterday. I'm working on uh, two more batches today, and I needed this seasoned salt, so I'm glad that I was able to get that in time. Bag of grapes. Tons of bananas. My kids love bananas in the morning before school. My oldest daughter specifically isn't a huge breakfast person. She will eat like a slice of toast and maybe a banana in the morning and that's it. That's really all she wants. I don't try to, I don't usually force her to eat if she doesn't want to, but I would really like her to. So even if she only eats a banana or a handful of grapes or something, I'm, I'm happy with that. Brown sugar, same thing. I put brown sugar in all of my pizza sauce that I'm canning, all of my spaghetti sauce that I'm canning, and I almost ran out yesterday. And if I would have known I was as low as I was <laughs> before canning season, I would have bought a big bag of it from Sam's Club. But that's just not the way it worked out. So, light brown sugar, I got two bags. Uh, hopefully this will get me through the rest of canning, but we'll see, it kind of depends on uh, how I can keep up with my tomato plants. <laughs> I got two bags of jalapenos. Now these are what I'm gonna be using in the hot sauce. Originally my plan was to stop at the farmer's stand and pick up two pounds of uh, hot peppers. I went there and they were out. So I just went ahead and bought two from Aldi. They were 85 cents a pack. So here we go. And I do have one jalapeno plant, but it's not enough where I can make hot sauce right now. I've been freezing my jalapenos as they've been coming in. So I'm gonna use whatever I have right now in my freezer, plus these, and I'm gonna make like a triple or quadruple batch of hot sauce. So that's coming. Here's my mountain of cheese. I know this looks like a lot, but here's the thing. We've talked about this. <laughs> we are trying to get rid of shredded cheese out of our life because of all the yucky stuff they put in it. I know I'm saying that and I have processed cheese right here, but this is for some of the grilled cheese sandwiches for my husband and my kids, well, and myself. Grilled cheese just tastes better with this. It's, you just can't argue with me, so that's what that is for. But I did pick up two of these blocks. I saw these like last month or month before and I wanted to try them, but they're, they were $10 uh, for two pounds. I thought that was a little much. But today they were on sale. 
<laughs> so I got two of them. They were like six something a piece. But it has a bunch of different cheeses in it. Colby Jack, Swiss, cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack. So lots of options in here. Like I said, I got two of them. One's going to go in the freezer and one is going to go in the fridge. This is replacing all of my bags of shredded cheese. Got four things of Colby Jack. Uh, one block equals about a meal for us. Four things of mozzarella and then two things of cheddar. I got six pounds of butter here. This is all gonna go in my freezer. We're heading into that time of year where I'm making a lot of pie crusts. <laughs> I'm making uh, just a lot of stuff right now. I'm trying to make more and more and more from scratch. And you can probably see that through my grocery haul. It's really just basics. It's not prepackaged foods or anything like that. I'm trying to make everything in house as much as possible. So we're going through a lot of butter with that. Now, like I mentioned, I'm gonna have six kids this weekend. So I had Colt, the only kid who was with me today, <laughs> pick out some sort of popsicle or ice cream or something for the kids that I'm gonna have this weekend. And he picked these strawberry crunch bars. So there's six in here, everyone can get a box and then the box will be gone and they will enjoy them while they have them, pretty much. I got two things of blueberries. These were a great price. They were $1.99, I got two of them. Like I said, my kids will definitely eat these before school. These are gonna last like two days, <laughs> I'm sure. These will be gone in no time. One of these will probably be gone tonight because we'll put these on the side with like our pizza that's down there. When my girls get off the bus and they see that there's um, blueberries, they're gonna eat these super quick. I also got just a thing of vanilla ice cream and then we can put our own toppings on it. We have all the different syrups and stuff like that. So vanilla ice cream and then because I'm spontaneously making a lot of pies uh, this time of year, I decided to just get two things of Clue Whip. They were 95 cents a piece. I figured, yes, let's just grab them. I'm gonna put them in my freezer. And then that way, when I decide to make a pie really randomly on a Sunday afternoon, I can just pull one of these out of the freezer and we can have some whipped cream for our pie, especially towards the end of the month when the ice cream will probably be gone. So that is pretty much my entire haul. Oh, I did forget to mention. I did get a thing of vinegar. It was $2, it was $1.99 for a gallon of vinegar and I need this for canning. I have to check though, I don't know if this is like the right acidity level and if it's not, I'll just use it for cleaning. So either way, smoking deal on the vinegar. I'm really happy I found that, but that is my entire Aldi haul. It seems super tiny, but I did come in under budget, which I'm really happy about because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room at Walmart for things that Aldi didn't have this time, I was expecting to get more fall snacks, but that's okay. I'm sure next month when I go grocery shopping, they'll have a ton of like fun Halloween and fall snacks out, so I'm not worried about that. Here is my Walmart haul. You can tell it's back to school, right? But I also got the, some things because they were on rollback for like cold and flu season, so I got some extra things. So my total was a little bit higher, but let's go ahead and just hop in and I'll tell you guys everything and why and why and all those things. Starting with paper products, I got a big thing of toilet paper. This is what was the cheapest. And then I got two smaller rolls of paper towel because that's what was the better deal. So that's why I did that. Starting over here, this is like cold and flu stuff. We needed more Vicks. Uh, we always like to keep some Pedialyte on our storage shelf for flu time, I guess, because I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So we have an orange Pedialyte right now on the storage shelf, but blue is the one that my kids like, so I got blue for them. These were on rollback, so I got four 25 count bags of uh, cough drops just to have. My husband will typically grab like a whole bag like this and keep it in his work bag or something, and then, you know, we'll take another bag and put it in the diaper bag or something. So just enough to have if we're ever going to need them. Cause I, I know we're gonna need them this, this fall and winter, it's inevitable. So got some of those. These Epsom salts were also on rollback. I saved a ton of money on these, you guys. I think originally they're like $9 a bag, in my area at least, and I got them for six. So I saved $3 a bag. I got the eucalyptus and spearmint scent. This is for when we have a cold or something. It's so nice. We use these for our kids and it always makes them feel so much better after they soak in an Epsom salts bath. And it also just helps like open your nose up and get everything draining that needs to drain and stuff. So two of these and these will go back in the closet. 
7 up was another thing that was on rollback so i got two of those to put down on the storage shelf for obviously flu season if we need them so there's those coconut and hibiscus bath bombs these are actually part of a birthday present for my daughter her birthday is coming up so i snagged these because i saw them when i was doing my online order and i know that she'd like these she loves anything coconut scented right now so i got these for her and they do smell really really good so this is going to go with her birthday present I needed more face wash and um, I'm switching over to this, <laughs> this morning burst. I've used these in the past and it's worked really well for me. So I got the dual pack so I can put one on my vanity and then the nighttime one in my shower because I'm a night showerer. So got those. I did get another thing of Clorox wipes. I don't use these very often, but I bought these a couple months ago in a grocery haul, but all of those went basically into the kids school supply list because at least in where my kids go to school and I remember as a kid Clorox wipes were always on the list so I gave away all my Clorox wipes that I had and these are for me now for when we need them I got two things of like hazelnut spread back to school the kids love these in their lunches or even for breakfast they like these with jam on toast I have a child that would only eat toast for breakfast every single day of her life if she could and she likes to have these on there I did get these Quaker Chewy yogurt bars I've never gotten these before but I like them because they didn't have any chocolate on them so my kids don't really think they're a candy bar they think they might last a little bit longer throughout the month but there's 11 strawberry and 10 blueberry I think my kids are gonna love these and my husband can also grab these and throw in his lunches or something like that so just some sort of bar to have for them i do always ask my kids for snack requests and especially now that we're back at school i like to have something like this to just throw in their lunchbox for a fun snack uh and this is what my school-aged kids picked they wanted pringles i've never gotten a box like this before i didn't even know pringles made these but uh, there's original cheddar sour cream barbecue cheddar sour cream and pizza flavored so 27 cups total I think this was like 10 bucks so it wasn't terrible but it wasn't great either you know what I mean I did get a couple things of Jiffy Mix I like to keep cornbread mix on hand just for like really easy sides throughout the fall and winter especially if I don't have time to make bread or I couldn't be bothered to make bread plus we like cornbread better with certain things like chilies and stuff so I got a couple of those of course my thing of Diet Coke on the bottom there now stocking up I'm pretty sure this will last us most the winter um, at least the bean and bacons will I don't know about these but I got six beef stews these are just such an easy lunch or dinner typically I'll make like one or two cans of this if all five of us are eating and then I'll make rice and we eat the beef stew over rice but you could also eat it over mashed potatoes or noodles if you wanted to and then we'll make like a box of cornbread or something so six cans of those i also got six cans of bean and bacon soup because my husband always asks for this and i never think to buy it nope. because i don't like it so i'm never like oh yeah i really need to make sure i put bean and bacon soup uh on my grocery order to make sure that i have that for when i want it so i bought six of them so we'll have them for a while and i stocked up on some vegetables that i didn't grow in my garden this year or that never came up so i got three two pound bags of corn this will last us a while typically we'll you if we're eating corn as a side we'll eat about half the bag so we'll do about a pound of corn but i think i use this more often like throwing in casseroles or soups and stews and stuff we'll throw corn in and then i only need like a cup at a time so this will last us a decent amount I got four bags of peas and carrots this is what I throw in my pot pies I had plans on canning carrots and peas like I planted shelling peas and carrots and stuff they just never came up they I think the seeds were bad um, I've grown those before and I've never had an issue so I don't know what happened there but I got four bags just for pot pies and stuff now something you don't ever really see for me is juice but throughout the winter we do keep juice in the house because it is the easiest way to get a little bit of extra like immune boost in kids and i know i'm gonna get comments like sunny d isn't good for kids i understand that sunny d is full of sugar that but i'm really into this for the vitamin d and the vitamins and stuff that are hidden underneath all of that junk this is the easiest way to get it in my kids so we got two things of sunny d two things of apple juice and we'll just switch back and forth 
here's my bread tower and if I had a dollar for every time a Walmart grocery order person commented on how much bread they were putting in the back of my car I would be a rich woman let me tell you this is 10 loaves of bread I did the math this is what I need to get through the month for us with back to school my husband eating sandwiches packing his lunches packing lunches for my my oldest daughter my youngest daughter doesn't do lunch yet she only does snacks at school so this is what we need plus like toast for breakfast every morning is what she, one of my daughters want so we need a lot of bread I'm gonna freeze pretty much all of this except two loaves two things of English muffins for breakfast sandwiches for my husband He's back home off the road from working all summer, so we're going back to making his breakfast sandwiches for him so he's not buying them at a gas station in the morning. My other school-aged daughter, who doesn't want toast, asked for waffles. This is something that I will gladly buy pre-packaged because it's like $3 for 24 waffles. It's not going to bust the bank. And my kids are really independent. They want something that they, they can just put in the toaster themselves. So I'm just gonna support it, let them do that. So waffles, two boxes for the month because 24, I'm, would, it's just not gonna be enough. I'm sure that some of my other kids will also want waffles some days. So just to make sure we have enough, I got two boxes. Thing of Southern style hash browns because I'm also making breakfast burritos for my husband this month. So that's for the burritos. And I also put in, one roll of pork sausage in his uh, burritos and then eggs and cheese if you're curious I got two things of mild sausage I wanted ground sausage this was a substitution but it's fine I'll just cut open the casings and squeeze out the the meat and we'll get ground sausage out of it that way two things of heavy cream and this stuff is good until the beginning of November so it's gonna last a long time in my fridge as long as I don't open it, I, heavy cream lasts forever. So I got two things of those. I got two things of Parmesan for the month. Like I said, I got two things of breakfast sausage. Uh, one for one week, one for another week, and then same with the English muffins. We'll use one for one week and one for another week. So that's why there's two there. And then I'll use, this is a two pound bag, I'll use half of it for one week and then half of it for the other week. So that's how we get away with that. I got a big thing of pork sausages for those breakfast sandwiches. And then I did get one bag of meatballs just so I could have a super easy meal this month for when I need it. Just dump the meatballs in the crock pot with some spaghetti sauce and have it be done. And then I got all my other fruit and vegetables at Aldi, but I did get a thing of cuties for the kids. I got a three pound bag. I wanted a five pound bag, so this this must have been a substitution, but they feel really, really good. So I'm happy about that. I just got back from Walmart to do a mid-month grocery haul. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got for the middle of the month. This should last the entire rest of September. The only thing I think I might need is another gallon of milk, but this should be the last haul for the month, which is pretty good, three grocery hauls for the month. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is my super teeny tiny middle of the month haul. I think total. Total this came to $62, but not all of this is coming out of my grocery budget, but I'll just show you the whole kit and caboodle because it's, it's also some household stuff that we just needed. So we got some bananas here, and you guys, I love bananas for middle of the month hauls because they are the cheapest thing ever. You can get a ton of bananas. My kids uh, ate I think four bananas on the way home. So I had four more bananas than this. And I think, I'm pretty sure this came to like just over $2 worth of bananas. They were, they're so cheap right now. So we got bananas for the middle of the month. We still have apples. We still have oranges. And this is what they wanted. So we got apples, needed some batteries. I got a cuticle cutter. I needed another one of those. We, all of our plastic bowls that we use for the kids, every once in a while, they just like all disappear we have no idea where they go I'm sure uh, at least somebody out there can relate to that so I got five new plastic bowls for um, the kids we'll put snacks in here or you know when the kids need bowls we don't give them the the glass bowls because you know kids so <laughs> I got five more of those we went to go eat soup last night and we had literally three bowls and so Anyways, I got five more bowls, another gallon of milk for the month. We've been going through about a gallon a week, so it is possible that I'll need another gallon of milk before the end of the month, but 
this milk is good until the 28th. So we might be good until the end of the month. It just depends how much people are drinking the, the milk, which is a lot recently. We got these. I've never seen this kind of cookies before. Usually they have like the pumpkin and the cat or whatever's on them. But we saw these 20 cookies. My husband is away pretty much the rest of the week for work or class. So I just figured these would be something fun to do with the kids and like super easy right now because I hit my third trimester and I'm just kind of trying to survive <laughs> when my husband's gone because by the end of the day I am so tired and then of course we have like after school homework and activities and stuff so just to have something fun and easy for the kids to kind of keep them occupied while he's gone. So they're the monster shape sugar cookie dough cookies and they're berry and chocolate flavored. I just thought it would be fun. We'll pop these in the oven and then we'll probably watch like Hotel Transylvania or something one night. So we did get these and of course I did get another Diet Coke. So like I said, I'm just tired and this helps me get through the end of the day. So got another thing of Diet Coke and this should be everything for the end of the month. Like I said, this came to $62. So technically, I think if I put all of this in my grocery budget, which I'm not, I'm just going to put like the cookies, the bananas, the milk, and the Coke in my grocery budget, I think I would just be over a hair. So who knows, I might just take this all out of my grocery budget. I guess it doesn't really matter, but totals are floating around here for the month and this is this is gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching taking a little bit of time out of your day to hang out with me and support me and watch one of my videos let me know down below how you guys are doing today and i will see you guys in another one bye